Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torin and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and our roleplay series as the Dokianos Dynasty. Alright, so this is going to be a shorter episode today, guys, because uh, I just recorded the Hoi 4 video for Sunday and it was really long, really long. Uh, so, uh, you know, before cuts, it's particularly long, um, but I assume even after the cuts, it's still going to be a really, really long video. Uh, unfortunately, I, I just was trying to get to a certain point and uh, took longer to get to that point than I expected. Uh, so I think uh, uh, we're just not going to have time to, to be able to record this one to a full length because uh, I still got to uh, edit both of these videos, work out, eat dinner, and do all that, and and then uh, try and get to bed at a decent time because I got to work tomorrow. So yeah, I don't expect that that last part, the getting to bed at a decent time, will be happening. Probably not. Probably not going to get much sleep uh, tonight before work. Uh, so in order to kind of help me get a little bit more sleep, we're going to record slightly less uh, uh, today. Uh, so. Remember, we're just going to be uh, building up for the next two years here, guys. Building up. I, I said we were going to just build up the treasury so we could build mercenaries. But there's really no reason to, to do that, uh, to build mercenaries, when we still haven't filled out all of our uh, uh, all of our men-at-arms. And it's not like we're not earning enough money per month to do that. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Instead, we're going to use the money we get to, to get men-at-arms. Uh, so we did get that constructed. But again, I don't think we're going to be spending money on that, guys. Uh, on anything else. I mean, I guess we can do stuff here in the capital uh, if we have the money. But yeah, I really don't think we're even to do that. I mean, because yeah, it does increase the men-in-arms abilities, I suppose, but well, I think we're just going to focus on building up the, the men-in-arms, guys. I think that's really the, the best thing for us. We do need to turn this up a bit. Uh, we got accused of claim fabrications. We spent 100 piety. That's a shame. Uh, and an alliance has been offered from our nephew. And that is our nephew right over here. And okay, so he's just ruling right here. His um his father is our brother-in-law, you know, married to our sister, of course. And I I think what's confusing me here is that he uh you know inherited a county or was given a county. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of confused me here, but he's still set to, to inherit uh, his father's lands here. So shouldn't hopefully cause any issues. Uh, but this is this course is not of our, our dynasty, uh, this character here. We could ally with him. I don't see any reason not to. If he wants the alliance, why not? I don't think anybody would attack him. He's not in any wars right now. Uh, so yeah, let's go and accept that. Although I said I don't think anybody's going to attack him. You know that's not true. Somebody will attack him. He'll be asking us for help here in like a week. <laughs> you already know that's how it's going to go. Uh, we can go ahead and get some of these men in arms built up. Let's see which ones we want to do next. I'm just kind of looking at where we're at here, guys. Uh, we still need to get the light horsemen built up a bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. They're kind of expensive. Uh, so we were able to sway him. Excellent. Let's go and take a look and see where he's at. Still 79% chance of success here. So keep on doing that. And so I don't remember when it was in 68. Let's take a look real quick on uh, when this expires. Huh. It seems to already be gone. And that might be because there's a new ruler here. If that's a new ruler, I don't know. It looks the same. Like the same guy to me. But yeah, it seems that we no longer have a truce with him. I could have swore we had it until 68. But this is a, a different guy. That's the, the guy we attacked before. Huh. Strange. And we have it with him until 71. But yeah, we don't we don't have it anymore, so we could declare war now. Uh, is that what we want to do, or do we want to wait until he goes into a conflict? He's currently in a conflict. Okay, so he's in a a smaller conflict. So it's not, yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. It's not really helping us much, but it does mean his troops are engaged elsewhere right now. So there is that. Could wait until we finish fabricating this claim here. I suppose that might be what we do. We're gonna go to wait. Let's build up the army, guys. This guy's got a big old army uh, when you count all his his allies. Uh, so yeah, if we do the claims here, you can see he has 12,000 total troops, uh, which I don't know how many we have total, but it's around that number. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much, basically. We'd have very, very similar numbers, guys. Very similar numbers. We might outnumber him by a little bit. But yeah, I don't see any reason not to, to wait to get a claim. Uh, and then the other thing we might want to go ahead and do... Let me see, what, what duchy is this in? Okay, so this isn't a duchy here. So yeah, we'll, we'll wait to get that claim. 
we're also getting martial perks available to us, uh, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to continue going down these. Yeah, let's do the never back down. Uh, that's always very helpful. That's going to make our, our commander uh, significantly better. Yeah, so he's probably going to uh, definitely lead these troops here. So that's a big bonus for us. So yeah, I think we'd easily be able to defeat him. Uh, but let's just wait till we get this and continue to build up the, the men in arms. Uh, we, this is something we've been wanting to do for a while. It's about time that we, we finally worked on this. Let's go and build these guys all the way up to, to fives here. Get them up to five. And uh, we can do the bowmen next. And we still need to get the armored footmen, the, the horsemen up as well. We got plenty of money here on the monthly income, so there's no reason why I can't keep doing that. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing this, guys. And we've been invited to a feast. And yeah, we're going to accept his feast. We've been trying to, to get friendly with him. This is a good way to do it. All right, so it does look like we have a, another rebellion happening. All right, well, I guess it's good that we waited so we can squash this rebellion here. And where is it? I thought it was up there. Apparently it's down here. Okay. Uh, so let's go and raise up the troops and just quickly defeat these guys. This should be an easy, easy, easy conflict, guys. And, oops, I didn't set move to move the rally point there. I'm going to raise up the army. And we don't even need to raise the whole thing up. Ah, we will, though. It's not that big of a deal. I'm losing a little bit of money here, but... All right, so we got an event here. Oh, this heavenly taste, so savory yet slightly salty, reminiscent of the sea. This might be the best garum I've ever tasted, and the Count's cook has employed it expertly. So I need to eat this regularly. We'll get the hearty diet, get a big boost to our health. We say this is an incredible meal, and you know, get a little bit of opinion boost with them. I think that's what we would do. I did this for ten years, and then stick around till fifty-six. Uh, but yeah, I think we're, we're trying to make friends with them, so yeah, I think we'd do that. And, and we're a Gary's character, so it makes sense we'd we say something like that to him. Alright, uh, so let's go and get these troops attacking now. Get this finished up here. They don't need have enough troops to do the siege. Yeah, just quickly get a win here. Arrest this guy. Oh, still playing. Let's go ahead and dismiss that. Disband the army. It's been a faction created against the Emperor, a Liberty faction. And let's take a look at this guy and see if we want to to hire him, if he'd even be willing to. He might not be. He's pretty good. Yeah, uh, if he'll if he'll let us. Uh, he does have a different religion, though. He would be willing to to be a recruit here. Yeah, let's go and do this. He's gonna hate us. But yeah, he can be one of our knights. All right, so we were also able to sw sway the uh, count again. Still 59% chance we'll keep doing it. Because it's only at 34, so I'd like to get a, a little bit higher. Just one more. Let's we'll see if we can't get one more done. And he did increase the county control there. Excellent. Now, I don't know if there's anywhere else that needs uh, to be, you know, to have the, the control increase. We're absolute all through here, this one here, because uh, of the rebellion. I think that's what's happening in these provinces is that the rebellions is uh, the rebellions are reducing it. Of course, that one uh, was you know just because we conquered it. But yeah, we definitely will have to to do this this one here now because of the uh, rebellion. And we were able to get the windmills. So just looking at what that got us, plus five percent domain taxes and unlocks all the uh, economic buildings for this era. All right, so we have returned home from the feast, and that'll give us uh, a big reduction of stress, which is super helpful. Definitely need that, and another opinion boost with him. Excellent. So as far as how much he likes us now, we're at plus 50. So if we succeed here in nine months, then yeah, we'll definitely be done with that. He should like us quite a bit now, which he's hated. He hated our father. He hated us. He's hated us for quite some time. Uh, so we did get the crown smithies constructed here. I'm surprised we're actually getting this bonus. Don't we not have... And yeah, we don't own the duchy. So you'd think we'd get notified about not having the duchy and thus not getting the bonus there. Nice was just released from prison. I didn't even know she was in prison. All right, so almost done with this. This is taking a lot longer than I expected it to take, though. Uh, so, yeah, because I thought it would be done around the time when we would have declared war. 
Uh, do we want to go to this feast? It's our brother's feast? Yeah, we'll go to his feast. We're gonna get fat going to all these damn feasts, though. Yeah, we'll just let him finish this up, guys, and then we'll declare war. What kind of meat is this? So rich in flavor. What are these vegetables? Almost sweet. Oh, and these wonderful little desserts. Apparently our character really likes food. This feast is some of the best food I've ever tasted. And we're gonna get even more stress reduction. Uh, we're gonna get our life reaffirmed. It gives us those benefits there. And the, our brother's gonna be getting some prestige from that because we enjoyed his feast so much. I listened intently to the Duchess as she uh, carelessly reveals all manners of things. Distracted by trying to get one last drop from her tankard, she is uh, oblivious to how, I ca how carefully I'm paying attention. Once she realizes, she starts getting up. I'm only rambling. It's not true anyways. Any of it. So we learned of her witch secret. <laughs> Alright, so we could uh, blackmail, for, blackmail her for that. And we did lose more piety, and that puts us in the negative, actually. Well, that's a shame. So yeah, this is not, uh, <laughs> we just keep getting accused here because of this. Uh, we can go ahead and continue building our men-in-arms. And again, this is kind of like the benefit of us uh, doing this here, is that we're able to, to build up the men-in-arms. Do you want to do one more? Yeah, we'll do one more. And Marshall earns respect. Gets plus 50 opinion there. All right, awesome. That's from him doing the uh, increasing of control here. And we'll remember the days we spent in Prince Aristarchus' halls for a long time. Some more stress reduction, which we don't even have that problem now. And we've further increased the opinion with our brother here, who's intimidated by us. All right, so we can now get the claim. And that's going to put us in the negative. So at this point, we're just waiting to get out of the negative and get just a little bit of extra money here. And then we'll declare war. I feel okay with the men in arms situation now. Yeah, this is this is fine. So we'll just build up the uh, the numbers here for the the armored footman. And yeah, money is uh, doing great. We could even further build that up. But yeah, I think at this point it's just like let's let's get involved in this conflict, guys. He's no longer in any war though, so that's a negative. I was hoping he would be distracted, but yeah, uh, I think we'll we'll be able to win this one, guys. Uh, oh, we lost our position on on the court. On his council. What's a shame? Who do you place this with? Aren't we still a powerful vassal? Are we not, we're not a, a powerful noble anymore? Is that why he did it? And we're not able to sway him this time. Alright, well, that's a bummer. It's high enough, guys. Let's go ahead and cancel that. We'll sway somebody else. There's a lot of other characters that uh, we could be swaying. No, let's improve re relations with the spy master here. Probably not a good thing, even if he is, you know, terrified of you. Probably not a good thing to have a spy master who doesn't really like you. So we'll sway him a couple times. He doesn't need to get high or anything like that. He's not a, a vassal. But yeah, I think we should probably take it up just a little bit. I think that'd be good. And yeah, we're not going to do any more men-at-arms, guys. We're just going to uh, go to war with what we have. We'll let this go one more month, and uh, April here will declare war. Maybe April 1st, so I don't think it's a, it's an April Fool's Day joke. <laughs> not that they had April Fool's Day back then. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and declare war on him and uh, try and get our claim here. Uh, so, got to pick our claim, and can we do both? I think we can do both of them at the same time. Yeah, so let's going to confirm this. This should get us two counties this time, so it's over a lot more, uh, over a lot more than it was uh, in the previous uh, war. We have similar numbers. He actually has more troops than he did before, uh, so yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a tough fight, guys. I think, and of course, this is with all of our allies joining. The expectation that they're all going to join, so hopefully they do. Uh, we do have a, a much better commander in our own character than they'll ever have, I think. So let's declare war, and it's, it's going to be a tough fight. It's not going to be an easy one. Uh, so let's go and get our troops raised up. We're going to want to bring all of our allies into the conflict as well. So we're going to raise them up right there. And then let's go ahead and have... Oh, there's two. Apparently I created two points. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Um, did I create... Yeah, I only have one rally point. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but whatever. <laughs> we'll get them. We'll get them moved, guys. Uh, but that was that was strange, right? Uh, yeah, we do have the disabled building here, of course, because we do not have uh, the duchy title. All right, so let's go ahead and pull all of our allies into the war. Although I'm seeing one's not available here, because I think we have I think we have four allies, but yeah, we can't pull one of them in. 
All right. I'm not entirely sure why I can't pull the one in. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna pull the the Hungarian prince in. It's 4,300 troops who will accept that. Uh, of course, we're gonna pull in our ally in Crete, and that's gonna be I don't know how many troops he has. Uh, a little less than 2,000. Let's go and pull him in, and then of course we have this character as well, our ally up here, and he's got about 1,600 here, and he'll be joining us. And then we can pull in uh, the boy here. And I don't see any reason not to. It's a little, almost a thousand men. So, yeah, we'll go and pull him in. And is that it? Yeah, I think that's it, guys. Uh, one thing we could do uh, is spend our renown here. Uh, I know that if we were to continue on the, the current branch, the blood one, uh, then we would have to get 2,000 here. But is that necessarily like what our character would care about? Uh, I don't know that it is. Uh, I think our character would probably care more about the, the warfare one. Uh, yeah, it just kind of fits more for him. Or maybe even glory. I suppose you could do glory as well. Uh, glory makes sense. So we could do that one as well. And that gives that marriage acceptance plus 30. So it's easier to do marriages. A lot of uh, uh, a lot more easier. Yeah, quite a bit more easier. So could do that one. But I'd say he's been more focused on warfare than anything else. So I think we're going to do the House of Warriors here. That'll give us a plus two prowess and plus 15% night effectiveness, so that'll help us immediately. Unless, you know, somebody's a, the same dynasty as us, but this character's not. Because otherwise, you're just uh, giving them the bonus, too. Alright, uh, so yeah, he, they're all going to join here. And I assume all his, and his allies will be joining as well. So just get all these guys merged, and then we'll create some armies here and figure out what we're going to do with all of them. So he's got 4,000 men right there. I'd like to get him engaged. Yeah, we have a lot more troops than, than I thought we were going to have here. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and split off a, a sieging army. I don't know why they have the marshal in command here. We would be way better as a commander. Yeah, significantly better as commander here. Although not quite as, as uh, better as I, I thought, but yeah, we're still a really good commander here. So we're going to be commanding our own army, of course. And then let's go ahead and split off a, an army to do these sieges. We have to do both of these two. We're going to do them at the same time, I think, if we can. Let me just see how many we have that. You have to have a lot here. This is going to have to be like a full army, frankly. All right. So let's probably just do it with this army here. I would like to fight him, but I think he's just gonna flee. He may come over here and attack there. We need to get him engaged uh, before all his allies come. That's what happened last time. All his allies came and then, and then we get, and we're in a really bad position. Oops, my bad, didn't wanna split him in half like that. All right, so let's go ahead and do a small army to take out that fort. Uh, so we're gonna just split off you know, one of these siege engines with, like, uh, don't need a ton of troops. I think even 700 would probably be more than is necessary. But you know what? This will allow us to siege a larger, a larger fort, so we'll do that. And then for the commander here, we'll just place, I guess we'll do the marshal. So he'll go, go over there and take care of that for us. And then with this army here, I think we're going to go ahead and push forward. I know that we have the, the siege weapons here, but we can't even leave enough behind here to take either of these two forts. You'd have to actually use the army to take the fort, which I don't really want to do right now. I want to see if I can't catch him. Of course, all of his allies are joining as well. Uh, I think that's all of them. And so we can look at the total numbers here. We have 16,000. They have 10,000. I think there might be one more. Yep, there we go. I was going to say, because it should be more. So 13,000 against 16,000. So we have a slight number advantage. Uh, but if he's able to like destroy our ally troops, then that number advantage would go out the window. So we wouldn't be able to go any further than right here. All right, so might as well just stay here and do this damn siege then. It'll be 10 months, guys, with the army that we have here. Yeah, no reason to try and chase him down. Although, if we can fight him here, then we should. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have to... To do that though I don't know that we can get over there without taking attrition yeah we lose 348 dudes there so we'd have to go out to sea to avoid the attrition that would be 70 gold and we don't have that much all right so that's a problem damn yeah we're in kind of a bad position here hmm yeah, I don't think there's any way to avoid it either because you'd have to take this fort to be able to go through here yeah so there's no way to avoid the casualties 
But I do want to get him destroyed before his allies come, so... I feel like it might be necessary, guys, to take the 348 casualties just to get this army wiped out while we can. And plus, that'd be a huge victory for us as well. So yeah, I think it's going to be necessary, guys. It's unfortunate, uh, but yeah, I think it is going to be necessary. And if we attack them here, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go this way. We're not going to get any penalties, of course, because we'll be defending. And we'll just have to take eat the, the 348 casualties. Now, of course, it would really suck because if he sent more troops here that got here before we got there, and then we would have taken the casualties for nothing. And it does look like he might get here in time for the battle. Uh, but they would not have enough troops, I think, with our allies here. So we're going to have to go after him now. It does at least stop his siege while we continue our own siege here, uh, which will be done in two months. So a couple different events here uh, that we've got going. So I guess we'll do the, the Tourney's Trouble first. We've already read this in this episode. This is our sister and rival here with our friend the mayor. I didn't know we had a, a friend there, but yeah, apparently he is our friend. All right, and our sister, uh, the Empress, is also our friend. Interesting. So we've already read this event, so we won't read it again. So we can push her into the horse's water trough to liven things up. I really don't think we're that type of person uh, to do that. Uh, we can spend some time with the mayor instead, and we'll lose some stress. Not that we need to. Yeah, I guess we'll spend some time with him. He's our friend. We like him. Uh, demonstration of leadership. My sh my sister and friend, the Basila Basilisa, <laughs> she has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing her interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that the woman is waiting for me to impress her. I could probably engage her in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for her to simply see me interacting with my men. This is something to be said, or there is something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. So we can say, let us discuss methods of communication. That give us some martial experience and her opinion. Or you say, we should go greet some recruits. That'll give us the levy reinforcement rate plus 25%. And doesn't give an opinion boost. So is our character here the tr trusting, diligent, gregarious character? Hmm. I'm not really sure. I, I think it's a gregarious character. Maybe let us discuss methods of communication. I suppose, I suppose that makes sense. I feel like you could go for any of these, though, frankly. Because diligent, you could say we would want to do that, too. Yeah, I don't think it really matters, frankly. I guess... Since it doesn't matter, we can just pick either one. And, and I suppose that would be the, the better one for us to get. Yeah, I, I'd say it doesn't really matter. Uh, either of those work for our character. So he is going to take off, and he will get off on in time as well. This is a real shame because, you know, he has allies coming. Uh, so we might have to keep our troops here on this side so we don't have to take attrition going down this way again. And you see all of our allies are going to be here as well. So we need to try and keep them from... Uh, merging their troops, essentially. So maybe if we can engage those 2,700 here. And he's got another army, I think, that is coming over. Okay, so they're coming over here, so they're probably going to attack our sieging army. Damn it. We had two months left to get that done. When does he get here? How much time do we have? Uh, looks like nine days. Yeah, nine days. So he'll be able to easily attack us there. Yeah, he'll be right next to that province. So we're probably going to have to take off so we don't get that army destroyed. It's a real shame, uh, but really nothing to be done about it, guys. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to get destroyed here. So go over this way. We want to make sure we don't get trapped, so maybe we should go... I suppose we can go down here if we need to and then take off into the sea. That results in us going that way. Okay, so that's probably not for the best then. All right, so let's just get the hell out of here, guys. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's going to come and try and get us. All right, so now he's moving again. We're going to have to wait till he gets locked before we'll just move here. But yeah, you can see what he was very clearly attempting to do. He's attempting to destroy that that sieging army. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, and it looks like our daughter did come of age. Excellent. So her betrothed has two more years before they'll actually go to get married. As far as how our educa education goes, she did quite well. And I think she got a bunch of bonuses from our, our wife. So that, that's part of the reason for that. All right, so let's see if we can't engage this guy somewhere. He isn't locked to going there. We we would be uh, fighting him in the mountains, though. So, yeah, not not a good way to go. So don't want to do that. Can't catch him here. I think we're just going to probably just stick around here. I guess we can try and go here first and see if we can't get him to attack us. Nope, you got to go through this way. We'll just stay here for right now. 
We gotta try and catch one of these armies. You can see they're trying to... Each of them are trying to, like, meet each other, but they're having trouble doing that. Alright, so now we got him that we might be able to attack. So let's go this way. Just kind of bouncing around. They know that we outnumber them. But if they join all their forces together, they might actually outnumber us. Yeah, I think they would. So we would need a defensive bonus to win in such an attack. Let me see if I can't get this guy engaged here. Now, we want to be fighting on the, on the mountains or like behind a river if we're going to fight. Yeah, they're coming over this way. We might be able to defeat him. He has recently dis disembarked. We might be able to defeat him before his allies are able to get here. It's not impossible. We get there in six days. He gets there in two. These guys get there in one, so they have to come back. So that's seven more days. I don't know, guys. I think we're going to do this. I know we're not getting any bonuses here. Uh, besides him being recently disembarked. We're not getting anything else here. You know what, guys? Let's attempt to do this. Let's see what happens. Because they got to come back. They're already locked to go in that way now. They might not even help because this looks like it's so much uh, in our favor here. They have the 43 advantage, so I think we will be able to wipe out one of his armies now. Uh, also, we can now go siege this down, and I think they're attempting to help us here. If they are, then we can use them for the siege of the, the more difficult province. Alright, so that is a win. Uh, we were able to capture the Duke as well. Now, that doesn't give us any points for, for this, unfortunately. Uh, since he's just an ally. Uh, but yeah, we've captured the Duke. That's excellent. So he is now in our prison and he is at our mercy. Who would be inheriting? It'd be his son. Alright, so it wouldn't really change anything. Uh, though it might if his other sons are set to inherit. Yeah, it would kind of weaken him a little bit, I suppose. Uh, but he don't have any troops any damn way, so I, I, I would suppose we'd just keep him in prison. For right now. He's very, very good at learning. Could ransom him to get 88 gold. Kind of help finance this conflict. Is he the only one that we got imprisoned? No, we have a few people in prison. Uh, but nothing to, to be done with any of these. These these people have all been in prison for a while as well. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember how we got those either. All right, so we have you know gotten a win here. That's what's important. Uh, if we looked at the victory here, they lost 2,700. We lost only 90. Yeah, very, very big victory for us, guys. Uh, quite helpful. As far as how our knights did, yeah, you know, as you'd expect. Well, actually, he did better than him. Yeah, he actually has better uh, uh, prowess. Uh, this mare is also a powerful bounce, so I think he's a new mare. Yeah, pretty sure he's a, uh, a new mare. Uh, just looking at the events here, we were able to kill one of their mares. That was our, our marshal. Alright, excellent. Uh, so, got a good win there. Uh, so, at this point, they still have enough to outnumber our army if it's alone, I think. Maybe. No, maybe not. I think we have very, very similar numbers at this point. All right, well, let's just wait and see what happens. Let's see where they go. Uh, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna flee now. All right, so we'll go ahead and kind of shadow them this way. And then this will allow our army to focus on doing the sieges, which are gonna be actually what wins this conflict. So it's gonna be done in eight months. And yeah, we'll just use our army, kind of shadow these guys and see if we can't engage them somewhere. We might just end up bouncing back and forth. I think that's probably what's gonna end up happening as they just get really, really confused, because they want to come over here and attack this army because they outnumber them, and so they'd prefer to fight that one while avoiding this one, but we're just not going to let that happen, guys. We need to get the, uh, you know, obviously need to get the capital as well, and maybe our allies will do that for us while we watch for this guy here. And whatever conflict we do fight in, we want uh, to have good defensive bonuses. So yeah, he's coming up along this way. We'll let him move first before we, we do anything else. This whole time we're knocking out sieges. You see our allies are taking care of the capital there. So, yeah, we got some, some bonuses here. Uh, if they attacked from there, I think we would get the river bonus. But they will not attack from there. Here's the hills. So if they attack us there, we get a bonus as well. We got the mayor's opinion improved. Excellent. Yeah, so it's just going to be bouncing back and forth. Uh, again, though, whatever keeps them not fighting is a win uh, as we siege down all their stuff. And then... uh. Yeah, we'll be able to take two counties from this guy. So this will be big for us. A real big win. And the Hungarians are here now. and we, So we were doing this the whole time without the Hungarians. And there won't be a battle there. So we'll not catch them. So now they're going this way. Let's come over here. 
because yeah, I think they will try and come down here and attack those guys. Looks like we'll take attrition if we go back through here, so that's a problem. We might need to go out to sea, which we're too damn broke to do. Damn. Yeah, we'd have to take the 348 casualties in order to avoid... Shit. Hmm. And yeah, if we go there, we're going to take attrition too. Could go up around here to avoid taking attrition. I think that's what we're going to have to do, guys. Might end up arriving late, though, to help them. It's hard to say exactly what they'll do. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do it this way and come up around here. And even then, I don't know. Let me let me double check if this would avoid attrition. That would avoid attrition, guys. So yeah, we're gonna have to do it that way to avoid the attrition. And they might end up catching us in time from us doing this. Damn it. All right, I was really hoping that they would go around this way. That's what it looked like they were doing. Uh, but yeah, that is not the case, which means they're gonna attack these guys here, which we're gonna have to pull back. Shit. How many provinces do they have? Yeah, all right, so that's unfortunate. We'll let them move there, but yeah, clearly we're gonna have to leave, guys. Yeah, that's a shame. We only had two months left to get this, this siege done. So just not getting anywhere here, guys. Just not getting anywhere. But at least the capital will be taken, so. But these are the ones we need to get control of. So yeah, we're gonna have to flee. It is what it is. But maybe we'll be able to catch them down here and then not have to worry about them any longer. Ooh, yeah, they can. They might be able to catch us here, guys. If we don't get out of here quickly. Yeah, they might be able to catch us here. And that'd be a, a little win for them, but still a win. If they keep going, they're gonna start taking attrition. So they're only gonna be able to go so far. And we should be able to keep them. So at the very least, and you know what I think we might want to do? I keep. I, th I suppose we'll keep going uh, down here. But at the very least, we keep their armies from up here. Now what sucks is that they moved off the capital, man. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. I think they're coming to help or something. I'm not sure what the hell's going on. Now they're going out to sea. Where they're just going to throw money away. Let's go up this way now. So yeah, a lot of maneuvering and not much battle or, or sieges or anything happening for that matter. So no progress being made right now because of this. All right, so we'll go all the way down here. Although they're probably gonna come back up here now. We might wanna go back around, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to stick around here to, to defend our sieging armies, frankly. And here comes another thousand men. And yeah, they just are incredibly confused. They have no idea what they're they're currently doing, guys. Uh, we did get another martial perk, so when we engage in another battle, we should be even more powerful with more knights. We get four more knights, guys. So that's helpful. Uh, as far as how our knights look, we're gonna just look at this real quick. I'm sure they're gonna be some pretty cruddy knights now. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. And our son would be one one of the ones fighting. Uh, looks like his prowess is decent. Okay, uh, so yeah, we'll let him fight, I suppose. I'm gonna see if I can't get him to take the vows again. No, he's not willing to. We're still looking at a uh, pretty low chance here. Yeah, he's just not willing to. If we could get a claim on him, then that would be enough. Uh, but yeah, we just can't at this moment. All right, so we'll go ahead and start moving back up. And we're just gonna focus on getting these sieges done. Whatever they do, they do, guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play this damn game with them. We'll take these sieges. Uh, now they are coming over here to attack us, but they're not going to be able to do that. We have our our army here, so they're going to be in a very bad position. They might try and do the siege there, but let me see if I can move there and attack them. I could not. Probably going to go back out to sea here. So yeah, we'll just do the siege. That's why I kept those siege engines here. So yeah, we're just going to do these two sieges, guys. Let's just knock this shit out and get it done. I'm not playing this, man. Let's get the ticking war score. Right now, they have the ticking war score, so... We take these two, uh, these two provinces here, and then, and, and I guess we got to take that one too. So you'd have to take all three of these provinces here, and then we start getting the ticking war score. If they come take some provinces over here because I'm not there, whatever, whatever, man, <laughs> I do not care. As long as they're not destroying armies, which they might, they might attack them and destroy them. Uh, if they were to attack here, what is the the terrain like? It's plains. Yeah, we might want to to help them. Uh, what we could do is just leave only the sieging. Uh, the siege engines here 
And I think that's what we're going to do. And why does it keep switching out our commander, man? It keeps doing this. Like, we just don't... Our character doesn't stay there as the commander. It's really strange. Yeah, we're going to need to uh, come over here to to likely support this guy. Now they're not going to go. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Hmm. Whatever. We're getting this siege done. But yeah, I wish the AI would just have like a strategy and just do it. Instead of uh, having us just bounce around at them, trying to get these wins here. So let's move over here to help these guys out with that there. That should be enough. And we did take a prisoner in that siege. We'll go ahead and see if we can't ransom off. We definitely need some money, man. Money is a, a problem for us. Uh, so yeah, we're going to ransom her because I don't think she counts. We could take a look and make sure that we're not getting any, any war score from, from prisoners. Nope. I didn't know who that prisoner was, so wasn't wasn't sure. Just didn't want to ransom off and lose war score. So yeah, we're going to get 10 gold here for her. And who is this character? Oh, this is our, co our cousin here. I uh, can't do another one just yet. Uh, we do have control of that duke, which we're going to keep him in the prison. I'm not entirely sure who these characters are, guys. I think that's from that previous conflict. Uh, so yeah, we can go ahead and just get a weak hook on her. There's really nothing else to do here. Same thing with, with her. And just get him out of the prison. And so yeah, they're, they're coming over here and sieging both of these locations down. And got those hooks and got a little bit of that ransom. That does mean we can now ransom his other child off. They can finance our our war here. So until we take that province, every time we go through here, we are going to take attrition. It's just um, a negative. So what we might want to go ahead and do is do the siege. Now we don't have enough troops here until that 1800 gets here. What we can do is take these 50 and move them on over to here. And then with this army, we can go do the siege over there. And that's what we're going to do. They can take these, and we'll take all their other provinces, and eventually we'll get the win that way. You know, we, we'll be getting the uh, the ticking war score soon. And looks like we did... Uh, oh, okay, this has to do with the bishop here. So the siege is in three months here, seven months here. This one's still not going because there's not enough troops here. Uh, it looks like those allies who I thought were going to help us siege us down have left. Okay. Well, hopefully somebody comes back over here and helps us out. That's one of the war goals. Uh, but yeah, we're going to stay here and knock this out because the big problem here is that we can't go back and forth uh, because of the, the attrition there. And that's the whole reason why we didn't catch them in the first place and why we didn't get these sieges done to, because I had to retreat. So getting that province right there will be key. If we take that, then we can move through here without taking attrition and it's no longer an issue and we can do what we want. And our vassal has been captured because they, they won that siege right there. And we're able to sway him further. Excellent. So I think we're, we're done here, guys. No reason to, to sway him any further. Uh, well, I mean, I guess he's the... Ah, he's, whatever. We'll do it one more time. He's our spy master. It makes sense to try and have a high higher opinion with him. I'm not sure who we'll increase opinion with next. You know, all our vassals like us or, or are terrified of us. All right, so... Hopefully somebody will come help us with that one when we finish these two sieges here. Looking at 48 days there and 17 days here. We can't attack here without some assistance from our allies. So we'll probably go after the capital next. Uh, camp Dispute. Uh, so I want to say we've seen this one uh, before in this series as well. So we can deliver a speech about unity to the crowd. The diplomacy challenge, 53%. Chance that our words will pull everyone away from the fight. And of course, these are the two that are fighting here. The mayor. And uh, this is one of our knights here. I wonder who would win this. Oh, clearly the knight. Yeah, very, very clearly. I mean, they're both knights. Uh, but he's a much, much worse knight. So we deliver a speech about unity of the crowd. Gain 150 prestige. Gain some martial lifestyle. And of course, both of them like us more. We can have them whipped for delinquency, gaining us some dread. They'll dislike us. Uh, or we can sod this. I'm going to my tent and stuff in my ears, which we would not do because we are diligent. Well, as a, a gregarious character, I feel like we would do the, the speech. Uh, so it's a 53% chance. So I might fail it. 
and it looks like we did. My pleas for us all to put aside our differences fell, fall on deaf ears as the spat turns into an all-out brawl. Drinks and food go flying as people start throwing tankards in packs around. So we say, might as well join, and it's a prowess challenge, where you say, what a mess. I don't know, I think we'd have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I know we're an older character, maybe we wouldn't do this because we're older. Uh, but yeah, we, I think we'd join, we're, we're a fighter. 70% chance we emerge as the sole victor of the brawl. 30% chance that we're gonna get wounded. And we emerge as the sole victor, we beat them all up. That's what they get. <laughs> Alright, so we did uh, finish up the siege here, got some gold, very helpful. Uh, let's go over to the capital now, and it looks like these guys are perhaps coming over here now. Uh, this siege will be done in 26 days, we're at 35% here. I'm hoping that those guys will come over here, but so far they're not. Uh, don't seem to want to do that. So now they might go up around that way. So the capital siege is four months, and that would get the win. This one's just about done as well. I assume they're gonna try and wrap around here and then attack these guys, which if they do that, then that's fine. We'll pull back again. Uh, it just sucks because this is one of the war goals, but I'm just not gonna chase these these dudes around, man. How much? How many troops would we need to take the capital? Is this, this is one of the smaller ones, so we wouldn't need very many troops. So what we might go ahead and do is uh, just split off a sieging army then. If they end up going up around here, we'll wait and see if that's what they do. Yeah, that is what they're going to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and split off a sieging army. We don't have those knights in our army, by the way, either. So we'd have to raise those up again. Let's go ahead and do that. So we have those additional knights. Uh, so let's raise them up. It'll be five knights total. Alright, so we'll just leave these guys here for now. Since we have enemy armies here. And then we'll just go ahead and split off uh, a sieging army. And we'll do it ourselves. If I can get the damn army selected here, which I'm having trouble doing. There we go. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and split off just enough uh, to get the siege done. So like, probably just a bit more than that for any losses they take. Yeah, that, that looks good right there. We're going to give them a commander. If we have anybody who's good at sieges, we'll assign them, but it doesn't look like we do. All right, so in that case, we'll just put this knight in charge. All right, and then we're gonna go and take our main army. And start moving down here. Now, we would want to fight them with an advantage if we were to fight both armies. But right now, it's just the 2,000. And we could go ahead and fight them here now I'm surprised, I'm assuming that this guy's going all the way around. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Let me just take a look at how many days until they arrive. So it's gonna be two days to get to that location, and then they gotta move to this location, and then to this location. They're gonna arrive pretty close. Without our ally support, would we win? That's the question. I don't actually know, guys. I'm not entirely sure if we'd be able to win that or not. We're not getting any advantages here at all. I mean, we'd be able to fight that guy for a little while by himself. It just feels kind of risky, because if they don't come and assist us, then it's our 6,000 against their almost 9,000 troops. That's just not good odds. And you can see here, uh, you know, they have the better army commander apparently as well. More army commander traits. Yeah, it's just, um, yeah, I, I just don't think that this would, we'd be able to win this quick enough before they arrived. Uh, if you're able to see like how many days until they arrive total, but you can't, as far as I know. You can only see like how many days until they arrive at the next location. I think they would get here pretty pretty soon after the battle started. They do have to move two provinces. We might be able to win before. You know what, let's just do it. Let's just play risky. Because yeah, it does look like our allies will be helping. And they might come and assist. It's hard to say, but our allies are coming and that's what's important. So with that, we will win. Definitely win that battle. Um, so we have 9,300, and they're they still coming, uh, despite the fact that we're going to win this battle. Uh, though it does say that it's it's a uh, potential loss here, which is interesting. We do have the advantage bonus. You know, we are in charge here. Yeah, so this is a big battle. Uh, you can see that as far as how much damage we're dealing. Most of our units are dealing full damage, with the exception of some light footmen that are in there. Well, most of their units are not. So most of their units have been countered. They have more knights than us, though, so that's significant. But yeah, we have a much better leader. 
you know, we have the advantage win. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a big victory for us, guys. Big victory. Uh, also, this siege is being completed now. And the betrothal has been fulfilled. Our daughter is now married. Excellent. And that also has formed an alliance now. Could bring him into the conflict, but not going to be necessary. It looks like we have the, uh, the win here in the conflict at this point. They just lost 3,300 men compared to our less than 600. So, yeah, that's a that's a big win for us, guys. Uh, 97 win uh, kills from the mayor here. Looks like the marshal is not no is no longer the, the best guy that we have anymore. All right, so these guys did a fantastic job. Did our son fight? I think he should have fought. I have, I'm not seeing him in here. But yeah, I thought he would have fought. All right, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why he didn't fight. Or right, maybe I'm just scrolling past him. But yeah, I thought he would have fought, our second son. Uh, apparently that is not the case, though. Okay. So you can see that we got we killed many other knights. Uh, three knights total. Might have wounded a few of their other knights. Pretty good job overall. Uh, but yeah, very impressed with the, the mayor here. He's done a, a great job for us. All right, so with that, for in my opinion, that's the win. Like, you know, we have this siege going here. Three months, that's completed. This one's completed in two months. And so with, with that win, I think we've got it now. So we can go and try and chase them down. I don't know which way they're going. Oh, they're going to come this way. So we're going to want to go that way then instead. But yeah, they could end up attacking these guys here and they might... No, they would not outnumber them. So they can't even win against that siege army. So yeah, they're just too weak. Uh, how far are they retreating to? Okay, so they're retreating over to our province. Well, that's interesting. So yeah, we'll come over this way just in case they do attack there. I, I don't expect that they will. We might want to move our knights here, though. Get them out of there. We want them to come meet up with our, our army here. And then we have these 82 dudes over here that just recently disembarked. So yeah, we'll meet up over here and... Probably don't want to get engaged here. Might need to run. Now these five knights might be able to beat 82 uh, levy. This is not possible. Might be able to beat them. Let's go... Yeah, let's go over here. I think they'll move further before we're able to do anything. And if they attack, which they might very well do, kind of seems like all the troops are coming over here. Uh, there was another victory over here. Looks like we defeated their army here. And that increased war score by 1%. Killed 211 other dudes. So a little victory, guys. Just a little victory. Well, this siege just does not have enough troops now to get that done. We might need to reinforce that. And they are going to attack us here. Which is interesting. Uh, we might be able to catch them before they do. It's hard to say. Uh, we've already moved and got locked there. So now let's move the knights into here. Make sure they come help us out. So they're going to have what well, was going to be a big battle there. It ended up not being the case. They're now attempting to attack us there. Uh, so let's go and get everybody moving over to this province to defend it. We're able to capture another enemy. We're at 61% now. Didn't take war score, but score at all. Uh, killed this just 82 dudes. So it looks like there is going to be a battle here. We would lose it if we weren't bringing more troops in to, to assist. But with the, the additional troops, this should be another victory here for us. And that ticked war score up by 9%. Right now it's 70%. Killed almost 1,700 dudes, guys. That is not bad at all. Fantastic, man. Uh, so let's go and get these. Oops. I didn't want to do it that way. I wanted to get rid of those guys. I'm going to merge those two together. And... Do they have both of the... Uh... Huh. Where's our other sieging guys? Are they over here? Oh yeah, that's right. We have another sieging army over there. I completely forgot we had that army over there. Uh, they are going to attempt to attack us here. I forgot we had our troops over that way. They might end up defeating us. We're only 12 days away from taking the capital, man. That would be the, the final victory, but yeah. Uh... It's unfortunate. They do still have their army here. Kind of like, let's just get this siege done. If they defeat us there, then they defeat us there. It is what it is, guys. Uh, it looks like we have allies there, so they're not going to win. I don't even know why they attacked there. 2,200 troops? Yeah, that's strange. The AI sucks, man. <laughs> uh, again, I, I feel like they're better in this game than they are in, in past uh, Paradox games, so I guess that's an improvement, a step up. Uh, but still, if we're being honest, it's 
It's still got a lot of work it needs. Another win here, 1% victory there, or 1% added to the war score there. But because that uh, ally army is leaving and because we have taken casualties here, we can no longer complete the siege despite the fact that there's like maybe 10 days left to get that done. Uh, this one's almost done, so we're going to go ahead and complete it. And then we're going to attempt to, to you know, catch that army before they come over here and, and try and save their capital. Got to get this siege done first, though. It's going to be a couple weeks here. And they're going to attack again. Wow. And who is commanding here? I mean, we have a, a pretty good commander here. Yeah, they just keep on uh, attacking us here. And now that makes sense. You know, attacking when you have the men in arms. I just have levies here. Uh, and I'm not leaving. Uh, I don't even think we could leave in anyways. Yeah, we don't really have any options for leaving. Oh, well, we could get out of here that way, but we have a, a good chance to win here. You will probably win. So we're going to keep them there, guys. If we lose them, we lose them, whatever. We almost have this here, and that'll be big. And just one more battle, and then it's, and it's over. And we're going to have to actually... Damn, I really wanted to finish this conflict up, guys. Uh, but I've already recorded a lot longer than I planned to. Again, I've already got a long night ahead of me, so we are gonna have to end it here before we win the win before we actually win the war. But you already know that we got the win here, guys. We're at 96%. So we'll finish this up next episode. Uh, you know, we've gotten the the ticking war score as well. Uh, so even if we lose this battle, we still have one, uh, and we got the numbers, so it's over. Uh, we would have taken these two provinces, and that'll be in the next episode. So yeah, recorded way longer than I intended to. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you guys on the next episode, which remember will not be until Wednesday. So we'll have uh, no video on, on Monday or on Tuesday, which is, is just like the uh, uh, the other every other day format, except for usually it's Sunday and Monday that there's no video. But yeah, there's always gonna be two days uh, in the week, a two days straight with no video. So unfortunately we won't be coming back until Tuesday, which is one reason why I really wanted to get this this war done, but got to end it here, guys. Uh, so I'll see you on Tuesday, or excuse me, I'll see you on Wednesday, and uh, thanks for watching.